going on gamers, Avatrix here, and of course we have gotten a new sneak peek of the new hero Arctica. And it, I mean, looking at the dragon it looks great, it pretty much looks like a Ice Multanica in a way. The skill, I have it here on the left hand side, is going to be named Frost Breath. It deals damage equal to X percent attack to enemies in front, so it's kind of like a cone just like Multanica. Freezing them for X amount of seconds and buildings for X amount of seconds. So, unlike Moltanica, where Moltanica slows down and debuffs, this completely freezes them. Like, they're just out of the picture for, I believe, it's up to two seconds. And it, it removes all buffs. So, if somebody's stacked their Pumpkin Duke, their Cupid buffs, everything is gone. Now, the hero also has a level 5 condemnation with it. It's okay, but it's, it's nothing to write home about. And it does have a cooldown of 6 seconds. So, what exactly do we have here? From my estimation, really, it looks very, very similar to Montanica. Now, of course, it's not going to be just like Montanica. There's some, some differences, like instead of debuffing, it's going to be freezing them, removing buffs, etc. But here's the problem. This is already, it has been confirmed that it is going to be an event-only hero. So on this update, l let me just recap pretty much what the big things on this update is. We have a hero that's going to be event only, which, let's be honest, it, it's really not going to add much to the game because it's pretty much a Multanica outside of just a little quirk. And then we have a game mode in Guild Wars that doesn't necessarily look all that fun. I mean, it's pretty much just like an extra hero trials, or hero expeditions, I should say. So. I'm not really that excited for this update and I, I haven't really said that in a while but this update it just seems like in, in my view if you're going to be adding a hero like this that an event only hero where literally what you're telling them is you have to pay X amount of dollars to get this hero you can even get lucky and roll them at least add a shard hero to go with it you know so that way it's an update for everybody you can't say the Guild Wars thinks is an update for everybody because, let's be honest, it doesn't sound all that fun. Not, that's, it's not what anybody had in their mind when they said Guild Wars. A, a rating feature? That's, that's not... It's not fun. And it doesn't look all that... Like, it doesn't seem like there was a lot of thought put into it. I mean, let, let's just be honest here. Will I eventually get this hero? More than likely. Would I be going for this hero right away? Absolutely not. I, I really could care less about this hero right on, on this moment. Later on down the line, maybe when I do some events, etc. I might get him. That's great, but it doesn't really excite me. And I'm with you guys. A lot of people that say, you know, every hero gem only, you know, free to play, all of that. I, I definitely understand you in this case because this update so far has been pretty underwhelming for me. And it looks like the Taiwan servers are going to be getting updated, I believe, probably in like an hour or so. And let's see, we, we won't be able to have anybody roll the hero because, let's be honest, it's an event-only hero. So you can't luckily roll them, like a Vlad or a Santa Boom, you know, etc. And then the Guild Wars feature isn't anything to write home about. So I don't know, I'm kind of disappointed in this update, but I guess we'll have to wait and see until it, it does come out and everything is cleared up. Let me know what you guys think. You, I'm definitely just disappointed in this, but I can't wait to see what you guys think about that. But yeah, there's a sneak peek for the new hero Arctica, or let's just call him Ice Multanica. And hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. And until later.